What's your favorite thing to do on a Sunday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Is that a trick question or is that uh, a personal one? That would be golf or golf or if it's a different time of the year and some hiking trails are open, hiking. I like the golf, I'll be golfing. Yeah. No, you or get Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday at 4.32. Tuesday at 4.32, just got done coaching, hitting some strength sessions and then going home and eating. Is that what you want to do? No, okay. I'd rather be golfing okay. or playing Hogwarts. What's that? Hog Hogwarts, Harry Potter. Was that the new Harry Potter game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that legit? It's yeah. legit. You got, do you get sorted or do you do I got pick? sorted Gryffindor, Okay. but I went Slytherin. Yeah. You know they have like different, uh, like every house has different uh, like tr you know, paths yeah, or yeah. tracks and things. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently Ravenclaw has like the one where you can actually go to Azkaban. Yep. Uh, it's supposed to be the best one from what I hear. That's what I'd be doing Sunday too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now, is it as legit as Kiefer beating Dakota in a workout? Wow. Is it legit? Straight to the point. Yeah, he got him. Four or more. Five to Yeah, it's an interesting day. It, it, the first couple tests, uh, especially that second test, I mean, uh, really turned out to be kind of a crossover single test. Um, you know, the, the dumbbell obviously mattered a little bit, but fitness-wise, it was less about fitness and more about how solid you were at the crossovers. People who did those well and felt good with the rhythm on those did well on the workout. Uh, and those who struggle with those struggle mightily with the workout. And I think you're going to see an interesting um, dynamic across the world where there are going to be a lot of really, really, really good athletes who struggled massively on crossover singles. Um, so that's going to be a little kitschy. I'm not a huge fan of that, to be perfectly honest. I'd rather test fitness than test one specific kind of funky skill. Um, but in general, um, I, you know, I, I think the first, I think the tests are solid. Uh, other than other than that, a couple of the judging standards. Um, but in general, for us, it was really just about trying to execute the best you could. We had a few people who tested uh, that that second workout yesterday. Didn't love how they had done. They they didn't feel great about their singles, so came back and did it again and did better. I think everybody to a number did better, which is great. We're gonna go before you're ready. You're better than you think you are. Okay. Five, four, three, two, and boom bar. One. Let's go. I was actually, I was surprised by how much capacity people were able to show in the dumbbell workout when it first came out. I thought it was going to be just a matter of whether or not people could execute crossovers well, but I was really surprised by how well people were able to continue to move the double and the crossover when their heart rate was high. And so it came down to like much more of a dumbbell cycling workout than I expected, which made me happy that it wasn't just a, can you do this new skill or can you not? Um, outside of that, I don't know, this is kind of like a, it's a, day two is a crossover day for us because we have some people repeating workouts from the first submission deadline, we have some people who are starting to touch on workouts that won't 
really be due until tomorrow. And so it's just kind of interesting to see where people's strengths are coming out, where people still have room to grow, and how quickly people can improve a workout even within like a 12 hour window, right? Just by learning something that they miscalculated in a game plan. So continuing to like refine and get better and better through this process for things so that when it comes time for semifinals and there's no redos, that we don't have to have a redo because we've got things dialed in more. Wow. That first one that I had, like, that I, like, went double. I love it. That was good. Heavy enough, it's a good strength test, but you can't just be strong to do well at it. I like that a lot. Because, like, it wasn't just strength, and you couldn't just be powerful with moderate weight. Like, that's pretty fucking heavy. That's good. Try to take on that row workout this afternoon uh, with V ups. Talk about a full send, girl. Did you even feel like okay. anything happened the last? Uh, no, I just blacked out for 40 seconds. I figured. I think in general, uh, you know, no matter what comes up in a workout, right? Like, I think it's, it's, you have to remember that in CrossFit, it's you against the workout. Um, you know, it, you could do the best that you could possibly do, and someone somewhere else in the world could beat you by two minutes, and that's just the way it is, right? So ultimately, it's just understanding to stay in your lane and maximize what you can do on each one. You can't worry about what others are doing. Uh, and I think if you do that, then, then you're gonna reach your goals and you're gonna hit your expectations. But, but other, you know, the, the biggest thing is really focusing on what you can do and coming up with a, a game plan that suits your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, it, it, this is fun for me. I love the in-game stuff, you know, the game day stuff is my, I feel like is my bread and butter. You know, I'm not a huge fan of just sitting behind a computer. I love this, like the interaction with the athletes, getting somebody to be able to, you know, we just had an athlete who yesterday, you know, did workout two and then, you know, again did it, almost went around faster and I thought it was just uh, pure will and, and you know, I was like, I'm just trying to get really fast and it worked. And it makes you feel really good as a coach to see somebody kind of, uh, you know, stretch their limits. It was awesome. What's one coaching thing you can say universally to all your athletes? Love you guys, man. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just trying to get you guys to, to maximize every single workout. If we can do that, then it's a win.